Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Earth Spark Deluxe Class Bumblebee. A very nice figure. Very nice figure, in my opinion. I, I really like this guy. Really like him so much. So, so much. But before we take a look at Bumblebee himself, it's always nice to take a quick look at the packaging right here. So we have a nice image there of Bumblebee. We have the uh, Build-A-Figure, Mandroid thing, Transformers Earth Spark, his name is Bumblebee. Plastic free packaging. Again, I don't like the fact that there's no plastic, no plastic. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this side has the image there of Mandroid himself. You got the Autobots and the Terran allies and the human allies. Yeah, he is indeed a deluxe class and on the top we got earth spark and then we have the autobots you know brian bumblebee uh twitch uh no that's twitch and that's thrash <laughs> uh that's robbie and mo so there we go and we have the obligatory product shots on the back of the box we have the alt mode the robot mode 21 steps that's a lot that is a lot <laughs> that's a lot of steps for deluxe but anyway and then you have the uh you know the checklist you know, the characters that you really need uh, for the Mandroid. And uh, yeah, I, I um, so I have three of these, so I have four more to find. So yay, four more Earth Spark Deluxes to find. Well, we don't know what Grimlock and Nightshade look like yet, but we shall, we need to wait. We need to wait, we need to be patient. I'm pretty sure they'll be reviewed, they will be revealed in a few months, a few months later, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, but I can't wait. I can't wait to see what this new Grimlock looks like and what this Nightshade looks like uh, uh, as the figure. So yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait, so. But yeah, there you go. That is it for the packaging itself. So now, let us get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this guy. So let's get it on, man. Let's go! And here we have Bumblebee fully transformed into his Vehicle mode. Yes, I know. It's another Bumblebee. <laughs> I have so many Bumblebees as of right now, you know. I don't know. I don't even know how many Bumblebees I have in my collection. Uh, probably like over 40? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. But, <laughs> but yes, it's another Bumblebee. You know, it's, it's, it's yellow. It has black stripes. You know, we got the All About logo on the top there. Blue for the headlights, you know. Some... Nice gunmetal gray for the front here, and of course, cooked on wheels. That's gonna bug some people. Uh, it's not. Uh, I'm not bothered by it. You know, I I'm I'm fine with cooked on wheels. Um, nice red for the tail lights here, and yes, I know the color matching. The yellow, the yellow doesn't match. You know, with you know yellow uh, with the translucent plastic painted over with yellow paint, and of course with the yellow plastic by itself. Of course, it's not gonna match. You know, this is nothing new. We have. Yeah, we're kind of getting used to this. <laughs> we're we're getting used to bumblebees with uh, uh with with uh, with 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 no no color matching with the yellows. You know, it's never gonna match. You know, I know I know it's gonna bug some people, but I don't honestly I don't really care because we we have been through here. You know, we've been through this like so many times now, and honestly I don't know why people are still surprised. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's just it's just funny. It's just funny, but but yeah, it looks pretty good I like the car mode the car mode looks like the car mode that he had in the show It definitely looks like that, you know, it's nice uh, smoky translucent plastic for the windows I like that and uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the visible head syndrome right there So yeah, and we got the uh, the faux chest right there of course that's gonna bug some people but it doesn't bug me at all because Having a faux chest actually makes the figure look more accurate, so yeah, that, yeah, and <laughs> so I don't mind having faux parts on figures, so yeah, but, but yeah, he looks pretty good, looks quite good, I don't have any issues with the view commode itself, you know, everything is nice and tabbed in super securely, everything works as it should, so no issues with the car mode itself, so he does roll, and he rolls very smoothly. I like that. I like that. So accessories wise, he comes with uh he comes with this with this uh with this weapon right here. 
And yes, it's a uh, it's a stinger weapon, I believe. Nice little paint right here, nice little bit of blue there, and uh, that's it for paint for this weapon. And uh, it's a nice stinger weapon. I liked it. I like this weapon. I like this weapon design. I really dig it. I dig it. I dig it. So um, there are a couple ways for you to store this. You know, there are two slots right here, and there are two slots right here. So you can plug this on. You know, right here if you really want to. If that if that looks good for you, or you can plug this on right here if you really want to hey it's a thing it's a thing you can do so but i i much prefer to plug it on the back right here just like so so there you go that's how you store the weapon onto the vehicle mode so yeah so that is it for the weapon itself you know uh in in vehicle mode you know you can do uh you can uh, use this as a weapon in robot mode but we'll get into that once we get to robot mode but first let us bring in a couple of size comparisons. Here is Bumblebee compared with his wave mate Megatron. And with the Cyberverse Deluxe class, Bumblebee. Now, I still like this figure very much. This is still a very good Bumblebee figure, in my opinion. But as far as I'm concerned, I definitely like this figure way, way, way better than, than this one. You know, I, I, I mean, I still like this one. He's still a solid, fun figure. But I definitely do like the design of this car mode a lot better. I just I just like how it's very um, it's it's very sleek and and, and uh, very uh, <laughs> I really don't want to use this word, but I I guess I have to. Um, he's 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 a hot car. <laughs> so yeah, but um, but yeah, I definitely like the design of this car mode way way better in my opinion anyway. But. Hey, if you like this better than this guy, that's you. You know, that's your opinion. As always, agree to disagree, so. But, that is it for the alt mode comparisons right here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode itself. It's time to transform to... It is time to transform Bumblebee into his robot mode. That's what I was trying to say there. But <laughs> so to get it started, you want to untab the legs right here from these tabs right here. There's a tab and slot right there, tab and slot right there. Just untab this right here and bring this up a little bit and bring up the uh, the tail lights like so. And just untab this section right here. Bring up the tail lights a little bit. And there we go. And you can untab. The, the legs right here from this section right here and just untab them just like that and of course you want to rotate this around just like that and just bring this uh, bring this up all the way just like so and you can see that these tabs right here will tab into that slot right there so that would just tab in right there to, to lock the knees in place and you want to untab the foot just like so Rotate the foot around and bring the foot forward a little bit. There we go. And there you have a leg all done. So do the same thing on the other side. You want to rotate this foot, this leg around just like that at the swivel. And then bring this up all the way. And that will tap into place. Untap the foot and bring it forward. Rotate it around just like that. And there we have his legs all done and ready. So now we need to raise up the camera a little bit more. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are at the top floor. So now you can see what I'm doing. And you want to uh, untab the arms right here. Just untab the arms just like that. Rotate them down, bring them down just like that. And you want to untab the arm from the front part of the car just like that you can see this little piece right here will tab into that slot right there just untab that and you want to rotate it at the shoulder put the arm at the shoulder and you want to rotate it at the elbow so that everything is oriented properly and now you can flip out the fist and bring out the door wing just like that and there you have an arm all done do the same thing on the other side you want to untab this arm just like that 
and rotate this at the shoulder and rotate that around and flip out the fist there we go and swing out the door wing just like that and now we can work on the backpack so just fold this in just like that and then fold all this in there we go you can see that these two tabs would tab into the slot right there so just swing all this up okay hold on it might might be a little bit tricky to do but anyway just fold all this in and that would tab into place and I think we're done are we done yes we're done Woo! we are done so there we have Mr. Bumblebee fully transformed into his robots mode I think he looks quite quite good in my opinion yeah I definitely like this one way better than the uh, the cyberverse version yeah I, I, I like him better I, I, I like this one better <laughs> so yeah he looks good definitely looks like uh, definitely looks very screen accurate looks like him looks like him from the show so hey but uh, yeah very nicely done very nicely done in my opinion let me zoom out a little bit more so you can see a little bit more of him there we go and yeah very nicely done figure in my opinion so let's get in close here so you can take a look at the head sculpt and very nice head sculpt nice bumblebee-esque head sculpt nice silver for the face nice blue for the eyes Got horns as usual <laughs> so and uh, yeah I think I think he's kind of smirking I don't know I don't know what he's doing but he, he's kind of smiling I don't know he kind of has an expression going on him <laughs> so uh, yeah I don't know I don't know what he's doing with his mouth but yeah. hmm. Hmm. curious I'm very, very curious <laughs> so yeah oh I forgot to show off this little blue paint little blue dot of paint right here on on the car mode so that's nice it's a nice touch of detail right here Nice Autobot symbol on the front of the chest. And uh, yeah, very nicely done. And doesn't have much of a backpack. You know, everything folds in very nice and neatly. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like this guy. Really like him, really like him. And the plastic quality feels good. You know, the plastic feels good, feels solid, feels sturdy. Nothing is fragile, no nothing is cheap, nothing is flimsy. Everything works out very very well in my opinion so yeah but uh yeah so now all we need to do now is talk about the articulation so let's talk about the articulation the articulation for the head is i believe it's on the ball joint yes it's on the ball joint you can rotate the full 360 uh he can't really look up can't really look down uh, the shoulders they can rotate a full 360 they can move in and out at this hinge um you do have like a hinge right here so the arms can move back and forth you know back and forward there we go you have a ball jointed elbow a little bit of swivel right there and about uh, oh, slightly over 90 degrees of band and the hands can move downward due to transformation um, but yeah there we go um, and since this is on the ball joint you know you, you, you kind of have a butterfly joint kind of I, I don't know <laughs> so um, Due to the way he's designed, uh, he doesn't have anything at the waist, unfortunately. Uh, the legs can move upward that far, they can move back only that far. Um, he can only move out his legs. Uh, the legs can move on. Uh, the legs can move outward that far, so he can't really do the full splits. Uh, you do have a, a swivel just above the knee. You do have a very deep knee bend right there and a <coughs> oh I just sneezed I am so sorry <laughs> I don't know how I don't know why I sneezed but oh well <laughs> the feet can move up and down because you know the feet are on the ball joint and you know he does have some ankle tilts and the feet are really snug the really wow that that ball joint is super snug ah oh, man I mean, it's better than it's better too tight than too loose. You know, it, it, it's nice. It's nice that the ball joints are nice and snug, but maybe a little bit too snug. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit too snug, and uh, yeah, they're they're a little bit too snug for my liking. But eh, I think in due time they they will loosen up a little bit. So 
so that the ankles can work smoothly, not 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 snugly, you know. <laughs> but uh, but still, he's pretty poseable. He's not hindered by any gimmick because because you know these Earth Spark Deluxes don't have any gimmicks. So yay! Hooray! They don't have any gimmicks, which is good. You know, it doesn't hinder anything, and uh, you know it has nice articulation, nice intuitive transformation, and uh, yeah, yeah. And despite having it like, uh, despite the figure having 21 steps, you know, according to the box, um, the transformation is actually pretty easy. It's pretty easy to do, easy to, uh, to maneuver around. So yeah, yeah, there you go. So let's talk about his weapon in robot mode. So you can uh, store this in robot mode. You know, you still have these uh, these slots right here, so you could plug this in just like that. In, in, in robot mode, kinda, yeah, you could, you could, but he is a warrior, so he's meant to hold his stinger weapon, although in this hand is very, very, very snug, so, yeah, I don't know why it's so snug, <laughs> it's so snug, it's so snug, there we go, jeez, jeez, there we go, there we go, and now that's gonna be hard to take out, but anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, there we go, there he is, Holding his stinger weapon, but wait, there is more to this figure than meets the eye. Ah ha! Ah, there we go. Uh, he does include the other arm of Doctor Meridian Mandroid. It's just a severed arm of Hardtop from Earthspark, but hey, this is this is Mandroid's arm right now. Um, <laughs> his his right arm. So yay, we have two arms of Mandroid, and um, yeah. Still, we can't do anything about this arm. Uh, we can't plug in anything anywhere, so it's just that. You know, it's it's very hollow, but hey, you know, it's a build a figure. It's not meant to move. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I mean, for the Cyberverse build a figure, Macadam, I mean, that guy has a lot of articulation. So, yeah, but um, but for Mandroid, eh, they decided. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna keep it simple and. We're not gonna give Mandroid that much articulation. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's what's happening here. But yay, we have the second part of Mandroid right here. So yay, but um, just, just, just a few more parts to go. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, as far as Bumblebee goes, very nicely done, very, very nicely done in my opinion. So let us bring in some size comparisons. Here is Bumblebee compared with his wave mate to Megatron, and uh, yeah, this scale is not right at all. <laughs> because in the show, Bumblebee was really small compared to Megatron, so this this scale doesn't really work out that well. But hey, they still look pretty good together, I guess. <laughs> so, but but when we reviewed when we when we reviewed Twitch, oh boy. <laughs> Comments are gonna go crazy when 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 Twitch gets reviewed. <laughs> so yeah, because Twitch is, woo! but <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see in tomorrow's review. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, but you know they still look pretty good together. But anyway, moving on. And last but not least, here we have First Spark Bumblebee compared with the Cyberverse Lux class. Bumblebee, and again, I will have—I—I I, I have to admit, you know, the the Cyberverse Bumblebee definitely does have uh, more articulation. You know, he has a waist swivel, he has uh, he has wrist swivels, you know, he has all of that. He has thigh swivels even. Um, <laughs> I mean, this guy technically has thigh swivels, but that that th the thigh swivels like right here. Um, <laughs> so, but honestly though, I still like this guy more. I still like this design way way better. It's just. It's just a very, uh, it's a very different take on Bumblebee's design. You know, it's it's a nice, nice, uh, nice, uh, nice design here for Bumblebee in Earthspark, and uh, I definitely like this design way, way better than than that one. So yeah, I mean, I still love this design. I still love the evergreen designs, but me personally, this guy, this guy takes the cake. He he's the winner. He's the winner here. So in my opinion, anyway. So. But there you go. That is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Earth Spark Deluxe class. 
Bumblebee and a very very well done figure in my opinion I really dig this guy uh, the robot mode looks really good the car mode looks really good too um, yes I know the color matching is gonna bug some people but honestly it doesn't really bug me that much because we've, we've been here multiple times already <laughs> We know there's no such thing as color matching. I mean, sometimes, you know, the uh, sometimes figures have great color matching, but again, you know, there are some figures with not good color matching. <laughs> For example, this guy, because, you know, you know, having a uh, translucent plastic painted over yellow is not going to match up with the yellow plastic that's used on this figure. So, yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> but, um... But still, this guy is a really well done figure, and he's a very solid figure, nothing feels fragile, nothing feels cheap, nothing feels flimsy, everything is nice and solid, you know, all the joints are very snug, or maybe a little bit too snug, <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, really glad to have another build a figure part for Mandroid, and um, yeah, and, and a very nice weapon right here, nice stinging weapon, it definitely gives, gives off the illusion that his hand has transformed into the stinger weapon itself so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i like that um uh articulation wise uh, pretty good articulation um he probably could have used more you know um maybe maybe some bicep swivels if he had bicep swivels that would have been that would have been great but unfortunately he does not have bicep swivels that's my only real gripe with the figure is, is the lack of bicep swivels but the lack of bicep tools is not going to ruin my enjoyment of the figure. I, I still like this figure very, very much. And, uh, yeah. But if you had bicep tools, that, that would have been so much better. But, um, uh, lack of a waist swivel and lack of wrist swivels, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not making me upset. You know, I, I don't, I, 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 I honestly could care less about wrist, wrist swivels and a waist swivel. You know, not, not important for me, in my opinion. So, yeah. Plus, I don't remember. I don't remember Bumblebee using his waist that much in Earth Park. I I don't remember. I, I I don't remember. So I I don't think he did. So yeah. But oh well. Uh, transformation wise, a very smooth transformation. I like the engineering here. Very. Uh, there there are some nice tricks. You know, with the uh, with the leg transformation. I really like the leg transformation. Very very nice. And uh, and the backpack. You know, everything is. Very neat and tidy, you know. Uh, I, I like how everything folds up to the backpack, you know, making making everything nice and flushed against the body. And um, I like that. I like it. I really like the transformation. Very, 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 very fun. Very fun. Very fun transformation. <laughs> so yeah. So definitely a a very fun figure to mess with, in my opinion, and uh, definitely worth your time. So. Okay, so I got this guy from my toy just like Megatron, but if you want to get an Earthspark Bumblebee of your own, uh, good luck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's being sold somewhere. I don't know where he's being sold. If he's not available in your country yet, uh, then I suggest just be patient. Yeah, that's what I would suggest for you guys, but but if he's already available in your country, definitely pick him up. You know, I, I don't think you will be disappointed. You know, he's, he's a really good figure in my opinion, so... All right, so um, I think that's it. Yeah, that that's it. Oh wait, wait, wait! Before before I go, I have to rank this guy from a scale of one to ten first. So uh, if I were to rank this guy from a scale of one to ten, I think he deserves a good nine point five out of ten. He's nearly there, nearly there. If he had bicep swivels, he would have been a ten out of ten. But oh well. Oh well, but still nine point five out of ten. Still a very very good score for this guy. So. But that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. So, but all right. So that is pretty much it for today's video review. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you will know when my new videos up and ready. And you can always check out my Earth Spark reviews playlist for any videos I may have missed. So I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers Earth Spark Deluxe Class Bumblebee. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out to all of one, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah! Greetings, Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, 
hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you and see you next time. Till all are one.